Hello, I'm Carolyn, and today I'm going to be showing you the difference between a yarn over and a yarn under. Yarn over and a yarn under. And then the different fabrics that that slight variation will make in your crochet. You can see from these two examples, I have yarn under on this side and yarn over on this side. And it makes a larger fabric with the same amount of stitches going across on each uh, sample and the same amount of rows. So if you're doing yarn under, you're going to make a much tighter and denser fabric. It's going to be smaller and it's going to take less yarn. Then here is a regular single crochet. This one would take more yarn, make a slightly looser fabric, and be larger. Okay, so I'll show you how to make it. I'm using Karen One Pound, and the color is called Blue Grotto. Right here. Okay. And then make a slip knot, put it on your hook. And for this uh, sample, I'm using a size J, 6 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm just going to make a small swatch. Okay, so regular single crochet. You yarn over and you have the yarn in coming from back to front. Right? You're yarning towards you. And then you finish your single crochet. So again, the yarn is in front of the hook. And you bring it up. And then you yarn over from back to front and pull through two. That's a normal yarn over or abbreviated YO or it could be YOH yarn over hook. Now to do a yarn under you're going to insert the same but you're going to put the yarn under your hook okay and bring it through and then yarn over from or yarn under from front to back and then pull it through too. It's going to make a little cross at the bottom of your stitch here. So again, <clears throat> bring the yarn under your hook and pull it up. And it's twisted right there. And then go from front to back and pull it through. It makes like a little X kind of. And again, Yarn under, pull up, yarn under front to back, and pull through. It makes a pretty stitch, but if you're having trouble with your gauge, uh, then this could be one of the uh, problems, because it will use less yarn, make a smaller stitch, even though it's still a single crochet, right? Then than what you would normally get if you're doing a yarn over single crochet. So that's the difference of yarn on under and yarn over. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned the difference between the two. Thank you for being here and thank you for crocheting with me. Have a wonderful day.